Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the partial differentiation of the implicit function using Jacobian method, where x is given as r sin theta into cos phi and y is r sin theta into sin phi and z is r cos theta. And we have to find dou of x comma y comma z by dou of r comma theta comma phi. And we are going to use the formula. The first term is dou x by dou r then dou y by dou r then dou z by dou r here dou x by dou theta dou y by dou theta dou z by dou theta then dou x by dou phi dou y by dou phi then dou z by dou phi so this determinant we have to fill the elements then after that we have to expand the first one differentiation with respect to r so sin theta and cos phi are constant so the first element will be sin theta into cos phi then with respect to theta if we differentiate the sin theta will become cos theta rest of the elements will be same so r cos theta cos phi r cos theta cos phi then with respect to phi this will become minus sin phi so minus r sin theta sin phi in the same way for the second row y with respect to r so sin theta sin phi will come as it is because they are constant sin theta sin phi then with respect to theta this will become cos theta r cos theta sin phi r cos theta sin phi then with respect to phi this will become cos phi r sin theta cos phi r sin theta cos phi then third row with respect to r this will be cos theta alone so here it is cos theta then with respect to theta it will become minus sin theta so minus r sin theta with respect to phi if there is no phi term so both are constant if differentiation is zero now we are going to expand this so first term is sin theta cos phi bracket open when i multiply this it will become zero then we have to subtract already there is a minus sign so plus r square sin square theta cos phi then second element we have to take minus of that element so minus r cos theta cos phi then when, when i multiply this it becomes zero then minus r sin theta cos theta cos phi then coming to the last element which is minus r into sin theta sin phi sin theta sin phi and here the elements will be minus r sin square theta sin phi minus r cos square theta sin phi so we expanded this now we have to simplify when i multiply this sin theta cos phi here the first term will become r square sin cube theta into cos square phi then second term it will become plus r square into sin theta then cos square theta then cos square phi then last term let's simplify these terms or let's multiply as usual the outside term so we are going to get plus plus r square sin cube theta sin phi then that is r square sin cube theta and there is another sin theta so totally actually this is sin phi 
So this is sin phi. So totally this will become sin square phi. In the last term is plus r square. Then we have sin theta. Then we have cos square theta. Then we have sin square phi. Now let's take whatever possible common from first and the third term. That is r square sin cube theta is common. Now we left with cos square phi plus sin square phi. In the same way, whatever common from the second term and fourth term we are going to take out. That is r square common r square sin theta then cos square theta sin theta and cos square theta. Now this will become cos square phi plus sin square phi. Now finally these two terms become one. This is of the form sin square theta plus cos square theta. So cos square phi plus sin square phi is one. So finally we have only r square sin cube theta plus r square sin theta cos square theta. So we can take r square sin theta common. We left with sin square theta plus cos square theta. Once again this is 1. So final answer is r square sin theta.